Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, God, for who you are to us. Thank you, God, for as we accepted you, your gift of love and salvation, you have made your home in our hearts. God, and our lives are more fulfilling right here, right now on earth. And then we have eternal life in heaven with you. God, thank you. Thank you, God, that we understand today that our time here on earth is brief. God, it's but a vapor to you. Our life is fleeting, but God, our life is safe and secure in you. Lord, not our will be done on today, but yours. In fact, God, we repent right now again. We ask you to forgive us of all our sins, the ones we know of as well as the ones we know not of, God. And we thank you. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for accepting our repentance. Thank you for wiping the slate clean, God, and not seeing us for our shortcomings. Thank you, God, for seeing us through the blood of your Son, Jesus. God, cover us in that blood. Wash us afresh. God, wash our minds that we would think holy thoughts. Wash our hands that we would do the work that you have called us to. Wash our feet that our steps will remain ordered by you and not astray in our own plans. God, thank you. Thank you, God, that many are the plans that we may try to create, but you direct our hearts and your purpose will prevail above all. God, we thank you. Thank you for being Lord of all, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. God, sit on the throne of us on today. We yield to you. We bow to you. God, knowing that you know better. God, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You know the end from the beginning. So God, we hold fast to you. We hold fast to the promise that you have made us. God, and we know that we don't have to try to help you out. We don't try to have to reconfigure anything because your plan is sure. Your steps are righteous. They are sturdy. And we thank you. Thank you for just holding our hands and walking it out with us, Lord God. Thank you for leading us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. God, thank you for not leaving us to our own devices. God, thank you for not letting us struggle and stress, Lord God. But we just work out our soul salvation in fear and trembling. Lord, just that reverential fear of you, God, because you truly are our all in all. You truly are in control. And we thank you for doing that. Thank you for being that, God. And we have such peace. We have such sweet rest in knowing that you have it all under control, God. So we come against fear. We come against suicidal ideations. We come against entitlement. We come against worrying and a spirit that may cause us to feel that we're in uncertainty. There is nothing uncertain in the life of the believer because each and every step is in you. So bless us now, God, to continue to walk in obedience, to continue to serve you by serving our fellow man, and to keep our eyes to the hills from whence our help coming from. Because our help comes from you, God. So we're going to look up. And every time we turn around, we're going to look up again. We're going to look up at another blessing. We're going to look up at another development. 
spiritually, emotionally, mentally, physically, financially from you. And we thank you and we praise you and we bless your holy name, God. We believe you. We call these things done and we pray and praise. In Jesus' name, amen.